Hey, hey, welcome to my Make Yourself at Home workout series. Today, we are focused on glutes. So what I have for us is eight moves. The first two moves, we're gonna start on our back, and then the next six moves, we'll do three on the right side, and then we'll repeat them on the left side. So you're gonna to need to come down onto the floor. You need no equipment except the soft surface to be on. So come on down to your back. And we're gonna start with hip reach. So heels in line with hips. We're gonna press the hips up and down. So really think about squeezing your backside here, not arching through the low back at all. And you wanna keep your rib cage kind of clamped down so we're not flaring open. And that way we can keep the work in the glutes and in the hamstrings. The knees need to be in alignment with the hips. And I want you to pretend like you've got walls at your shoulders that are kind of containing your knees. All right, my friends, we are into this glutes workout. One time through should be enough to really challenge you. This is a great finisher to add on to any of our other make yourself at home workouts in this series. All right, two more here, please. If you need a little breather, you can take one, you can hug a knee in and hug a knee in. Our next move is gonna be a marching hip bridge. So we're gonna come up to our hip bridge position. We're gonna lift and lower one leg at a time. So we need to steady through the hips here, and we do that by squeezing the glutes. Anytime we're isolating our work to one side, our body is using so many stabilizer muscles that we don't even realize what's happening. So we're working hard without even realizing how hard we're working. Relax your shoulders, and then make sure you're breathing nice and deep. As your muscles start to burn, that's your sign that you need some oxygen, okay? That is your body's cry for oxygen. So breathe nice and deep. I'm just looking at our time. We're doing good. We got about five seconds to go. And there we go. Roll it on down. All right, the next six moves we'll do for about 45 seconds a piece. And we can take a little bit of time in between uh, moves to flush out any burn that might be there. All right, let's start with our left leg. So we're gonna do an arch. So take your left foot out on a diagonal away from your body, and you're gonna lift and tap in an arch position. So you're drawing the biggest arch you can without compromising alignment in your spine. So relax your shoulders, strap an imaginary seat belt across your abs, and I'm sure you hear me breathing. I want you to do the same. Big inhale, big exhale. It's really important that you keep your chin off your chest as well. Don't let your head hang heavy. That's gonna help you keep your airway open and keep the oxygen flowing. All right, so here we go. We're about to finish up our 45 seconds. If you'd like to keep going through the breathers, you're more than welcome to, or you can take that rest right there, okay? I'll show you our next move. It's gonna be a frog kick. You're gonna bring an elbow, I'm sorry, a knee to an elbow, flex your heel. You're gonna drive your heel back. Here we go. Time to work. So bend and extend. So really the frog kick challenge comes in holding your knee out on that wide angle. And you're aiming your kneecap towards your el elbow. One thing that we have to stay mindful of when we're working in this position is to not lean away from the work. So if we're working our left leg right now, our body wants to lean to the right side. So I want you to be intentional to lean towards your left hand. Really drive that heel back like you're trying to leave your footprint on the wall behind you. Keeping the belly brace all the while. Keep the oxygen flowing. All right, there's our 15 second recovery. So you can take it or you can keep going. And I'm gonna show you the next move. We're gonna do a tap and lift. So walk down to your elbows. You can stay on your hands if you like but I like this one from elbows. Stretch your legs straight behind you, square your body up, and we're gonna lift and tap. So now the challenge here is to not use momentum. So we don't wanna swing the leg up. We really wanna use the glute strength that we have to lift and lower. Now grow your leg as long as you can grow it from hip to toes. Flatten out the back of your knee. And if you're feeling this in your right side, like I said, lean into your left. Lean into your left. 15 seconds to go, 
and then we're going to change legs. I'm going to go ahead and assume that you're ready to change legs. <laughs> Good. That's great. If you're not feeling the burn by now, you need to strap some ankle weights around your ankles. And last one right there. Good job. Take a quick breather and we're going to reset and do the other side. Hands under shoulders. Stretch your right leg behind you. Take it out on the diagonal. You're going to be drawing an arch. Square everything up. Brace your abs. Here we go. Lift and tap. Lift and tap. So stretch as long as you can stretch from hip to toe. Back of the knee flat. And then be on the lookout for the spine to not do this bucking bronco kind of move. Really pull your belly in so your back stays as still as possible. Torso stays as still as possible. And again, I'm gonna make sure I'm leaning my body weight into my right side, my right arm. So you can even go a little bit with light fingertips on the left side. Your head's not hanging heavy, right? Eyes in front, checking in. All right, here we go with our 15 second recovery. You can take it or you can keep moving through the break. Okay, we already know what our next move is gonna be. So we did it on the other side. It's gonna be our frog kick. When you're ready, go ahead and set it up. I'm gonna bring the elbow and knee together. Flex through the heel and let's go. Bend and extend. Again, driving your heel up and back like you're trying to push a hole in the wall with that heel. Big extension. It really is the extension or the stretch of the leg that tightens up the glute muscles. And every time we tighten it up, we're contracting the muscle to make it stronger, to tone it, to shape it, to make it more functional for our lives. The glutes, the back of the body, it's responsible for forward motion. So it's so important to strengthen the back of the body. Three, two, one. You can take your break or you can keep going through the break if you want more. And then when you're ready, we're gonna set up for our last move, your toe taps. So come down to the elbows, stretch that leg nice and long, and here we go. Lift and lower, lift and lower. All right, draw your belly in, relax your shoulders, lean your body weight into your right arm. Guys, we're about to wrap up this glutes workout here today. Short and maybe not so sweet, but good. I'm so, so grateful that you joined me here with this Make Yourself at Home workout series. Please check out the rest of the playlist. There's a lot to choose from. And then make sure you go to my website to check out my training plans. I have a whole training plan that's dedicated to this Make Yourself at Home series. Breathe in, breathe out, last one. And rest. Wonderful job. Again, you can repeat this if you didn't get quite enough, but this is a great one to just do once as a finisher to any of our other Make Yourself at Home workouts. All right, go check out that website. Look for this amazing, incredible merchandise order, tons of it. And then also sign up for my email list. There's a lot of great stuff that comes out every couple of weeks to keep you posted and to keep you strong. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you soon.